What's going on everyone? Welcome back. We're training shoulders today, predominantly using dumbbells. So carrying on from the other videos, we're not using a lot of equipment, just free weights. Uh, again, I'm going to explain to you why I do certain exercises and, and also write down the tempo sets and the reps as well. We're going to do two mobility exercises before we begin the training video. And again, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer them. Let's go. Okay, so before a shoulder session, these are two key mobility movements I like to do for my delt. These are great for mobilizing the shoulders and to avoid injuries. If you also have shoulder pain, do these daily, especially before a session. Invest in a good TheraBand as they are cheap and make sure it's a light resistance, so go for the green or the red. Aim for about 10 reps on each of these exercises. The first exercise we'll be doing is a lateral dumbbell raise. Here is a quick demo of how I like to do my lateral raises. I prefer flaring up my lats which stops me resting my delt fully on my side, hence keeping the delt on the tension even at the bottom of the movement. I also like to keep my elbows slightly bent when raising the dumbbells laterally aiming to align my elbows with my delt at the top of the movement. When doing some delt exercises, I like to use a false grip, as you can see in the video. When lifting the dumbbell, give this grip a try and you'll see exactly what I mean. However, this is just my preference, so stick to what you find more comfortable. Okay, the idea is to do 50 reps, yes, 50 reps, at a one second eccentric tempo, doing this as quick as possible with minimal rest. However, rest when needed till all 50 is completed. Pick a light weight for this as it is going to be quite tough. It might look easy when you do the first 20 reps, but when you start getting into 30 and 40, it gets harder. The lactic acid buildup on your delts makes this a tough one. Okay, we're on to an Arnold press. Here is a slow demo of how I perform this exercise. Keep the dumbbell movement nice and controlled and when pressing up, avoid locking out fully at the top. On the main workout, we are aiming for two to three seconds on the eccentric. The rep ranges will change each set, but stick to the same tempo. Then we will superset the Arnold press with a dumbbell shoulder V press. Again, a quick slow demo of this exercise. It's similar to a standard dumbbell press. However, the main difference here is rather than pressing upwards, you will press outwards, almost creating a V. As you can see in the video, this version makes it harder due to pushing the dumbbell away from your body. 
also stops you using too much triceps when pressing. Keep the weight on this fairly light yet challenging. Trust me, it's a tough one, so don't go crazy heavy. Aim for a two to three second eccentric tempo when coming back down and about 12 to 15 reps. Once again, I will be writing down the exercises and tempo and sets in the description box so you don't have to remember every single one. On the last set of the Arnold press, we will be doing a drop set aiming for 10 reps each drop. Remember, if you fail before eight or nine, that's fine. And it's more than likely to happen. And then at the end of the drop set, you will still finish with a dumbbell shoulder V-press for about 12 to 15 reps. A side note, one thing I have noticed when doing these workouts without a mirror, it makes you really focus on what you're doing and the muscle you are working. I tried this session with a mirror in a commercial gym and also at a CrossFit box and it makes a huge difference but in a good way in my opinion. So try with and without a mirror and see if you feel a difference. Next we're on to one movement that I find quite interesting, the TRX Y raises. Exercise doesn't look it, but it's a great delt exercise and really targets the anterior, mid and posterior of your delts. So as you can see in the video, standing at a slight angle, slowly raise yourself up with the TRX and try and keep your arms straight and up into a Y position. To make it harder, start further down, almost vertical to the floor. Try and stick to a three second tempo on the eccentric phase and we're aiming for 15 reps each set. You can also alternate with a wide Y TRX raise and a slightly narrow Y TRX raise. As you can see in the video, when coming up, I don't go as wide compared to the first set. So you can alternate each set with one wide and one narrow. You will superset the TRX raise with an incline bench dumbbell lateral raise. I like to keep the bench at a 45 degree angle, sometimes slightly higher. Lying on the bench makes this move slightly harder. As you can see, you cannot use momentum to raise the dumbbells. So your shoulders do a lot of work. If you watch the video, I raise the dumbbell up and make a V shape at the top of the movement rather than bring it up in front. I also again use a false grip on this move and usually aim for a 3 second eccentric tempo on this. Next we are onto a reverse grip rear delt row. I know you think this is a back move, however here's where it's slightly different. First starting with an underhand grip with the dumbbell away from your body, we are going to roll up, elbow slightly out and once at the top of the movement, squeeze your rear delts like your life depended on it. If done right, you wouldn't feel your lats at all but more emphasis on your rear delts. Aim for about a two second eccentric and a one or two second hold 
and squeeze at the top of the movement. This is one of those movements you just have to try and see if it works for you. If not, stick to a normal bent over lateral raise. We will superset the reverse rows with a lying sideways incline lateral raise. This is a simple lateral raise, but doing it on a bench like this stops you using too much momentum to raise the dumbbell and it's also more challenging. Try and keep your arms straight and like my previous lateral raise in the beginning of the video, try not to rest the dumbbell on your side until you complete all 12 reps. Try and keep your arms straight, stick to a 2 or 3, even 4 second eccentric if you want to make it more challenging. Last exercise we are doing a triple set of standing dumbbell close grip press, standing dumbbell flies, seated front raises but we're alternating the front raises. A triple set if some of you aren't familiar is doing all three exercises with minimal rest in between and then you rest after that set and then repeat again. So starting with standing dumbbell shoulder press, I like to use a split stance position for stability when doing these. The aim is to do about 10 reps, ideally failing around nine and using a two or three second eccentric tempo. then straight on to the dumbbell fly which we will be bending our elbows as you can see in the video to take away our forearms from the movement which means your delts shall be doing most of the work again aim for a two to three second eccentric make sure you bring your elbows up and either aligned with your delts or slightly higher than your delts when doing the lateral raises and then on to lying on an incline bench we're going to do some front raises for 12 reps, alternating each arm. Again, a two to three second eccentric. Lying on the bench makes this move slightly harder, but more challenging than standing upright. After all three exercises are complete, rest and repeat this for another two or three sets. And that is pretty much the workout for shoulders. So guys, that's the workout done. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you find some of the information useful. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try and answer as much as possible. And uh, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You guys have been awesome doing that. So I appreciate that a lot. Any more videos you want to see, let me know. Thank you again for watching and catch you guys later. Peace out.